engineer775 wanting to do a little video kind of a response to those who have asked me about this table I call it a harvest table or my farm table a combination of farm and harvest table it's just a white pine table and uh, my plan was originally to make it a 16 foot long table which my wife said I was absolutely insane lost my mind so I had to cut it down to a 12 foot long table <laughs> um, for this space which she's smarter than I am but anyway um, the the plan was was to make a white pine harvest table like a shaker table and those are typically three foot wide this is four foot wide and so I've got a friend that works at a local sawmill so I had a some 16 foot uh, white pine boards 14 inches wide cut rough pine you know rough sawn pine and I got those and I put them up in my barn for about two years to let them completely dry it's really a good drying area up in my barn and so I had enough lumber to do the top and the legs and I did two by six rails um, to hold um, the table up my original plan on the 16 footer was to put a fifth leg um, in the center so, to support it so there'd be no um, sag but after four years five years now this table is nice nice and straight you know, I did crown these two by sixes and so my friend got me this wood and it cost a total of seventy dollars seven zero for the white pine to do these tables now if you look for a harvest table online buy a shaker table I looked at like 4500 5000 6000 for a table this size. So material wise, 70 bucks is where I started. Waited a couple years for it to dry and then decided how I was going to do it. And what I did here, I don't know if you can see this line and this line. I, again, I took the, the 16 footers, I cut them um, to 12 foot lengths and then I s ripped um, those boards for six six inch boards here and six inch boards here and uh, That way I could do a 48 inch wide Harvest table with the wood that I had had drying for two years without mixing in any other wood that was greener so anyway the way I the way that these are joined my buddy has a uh, a biscuit joiner and we cut slots in the entire length of these boards except for the ends within about six inches of the end and we glued in uh, plywood splines so it's held together extremely well glued together spline so I guess you'd call that spline joinery to hold the tabletop together again it's two inches thick which is a lot thicker than normal tables and I did two inches thick on all the on the rails underneath screwed together but then come came back and plugged it with some um, mahogany plugs just to kind of set it off and make it look nice you don't usually see those unless you get down and look at them but anyway it's got tapered legs like four inch by four inch on the bottom and four by six on the top and four stout legs so i've been very happy and pleased with it i've always grew up growing up we always had a big table so tables are great for just fellowship, good family time. Um, we got the all-American canner on here. Um, and I mean the uh, automatic canner sealer, sorry. And sometimes we do their can our own food. And so the table's good for clamping grain mills too and uh, uh, canner sealers. It's good for bringing in small engines and doing valve jobs when the wife's not home. <laughs> just kidding. Um, hope she doesn't see that. Um, but it's a, a great table. It's rustic and you know it's, it's two inches thick. So every couple of years, I just kind of sand it if I want to, put a couple coats of poly on it. That's all I did with this is put some polyurethane on it. And it gets a lot of abuse. Kids are, well, this is Eli's spot. And you can see that it's just that's got a lot of character in it from forks and knives and <laughs> so I don't know I love a rustic big table and I can you know seat we've only got eight chairs around here now but you could comfortably seat about 14 people around this table and so some people had asked about the about this table so I hope uh hope that made it clear just go buy yourself some go to a sawmill and get white pine or the wood of your choice let it dry let it cure let it dry out totally 
and then begin to build it. But uh, the key to this thing being so stable to me was the spline, the spline joint. So I've got one, two, three, four, uh, 12 foot, almost 11, really they're about 11 foot long splines with uh, plywood glued in them. I have quarter inch plywood glued all along the way. So anyway, made a four foot wide by 12 foot long harvest table and uh, very expensive if you get someone to build you one. So anyway, that's kind of all the details I guess I needed to share on that. And uh, that's it. Engineer 775 signing off.